How's it going, everyone? I know we've been mildly wrestling deprived as of late. Been kind of frustrating, but hey, I'm gonna give you a blast from the past with four back to back shows. That's right. I'm booking and putting on four classics for you. Let's get to it, shall we? Let's start at our TV studio. And, uh, hmm. Should we put in some bonus segments? And we've already got one here. Let's get to it. Elimination tag. But the question is, which tag teams are we going to do? Are we going to do the obvious? Or are we going to come up with some new feuds, make it a little more interesting? I mean, no matter what, we got plenty to work with here. With it being elimination, that should really... You know what? Let's make it super interesting. There we go. Yeah. Metalheads versus the B-Boys. Elimination tag. Yeah, get the merch ready. Hmm. Yes, mortal enemies. Yeah, this could lead into something. Mm, maybe not just yet. I mean, we already started the show off with a gimmicked match. It's elimination style. That's a gimmick as much as anything else. You know what, that kind of just jumped out at me, so why not? Oh wait, Chameleon Kid, there we go, yeah. Bring Marley. Hmm. I mean, he could buy the ref off. Or he could have his partner do it. There we go. Also, I mean, the TV title match should be the gimmick match. Why not? Yes. <laughs> That's the... <laughs> and since the Piranha's champion, let's have it be a lumberjack match with all these guys circling like Piranha. But who? Who, who faces the champ? 
who is going to battle a nefarious champion today? Hmm. I mean, Boombox is already in a match. Chet scared Jesse Wild. You know what? Let's have Chet Sky give it a shot. Er? Bobby Blitzworth? And Ruffian. Or should I say... Not Ruffian. Ruffialies! Champion potential. Yes. There we go. He definitely has the roar of the crowd. Nah, he's not the foreign object type, he's the good tactics type. We all know this. Alright. You know what? Oh yeah, that was already the flavor. Now we'll give them the sponsor because it's the middle of the show. For lack of a better term. In fact, let's make it interesting. I guess we really can't. Not as interesting as I'd hoped. Then again. Oh, who's this? Stud muffin? Hmm. Yeah, how about it? You better listen to me, boy. I'm the big boss around here. <laughs> Stug Muffin's making his big debut. Let's have this be a submissions match. If that's the case. Oh yeah. Honorable fights and I think we know what's gonna show up here. There we go. This should be an interesting show. I got a feeling. Debut of Stud Muffin against Pelvis Presley. Oh, and here we go, folks. Now this is an elimination style wrestling match. That means both members of the team have to be pinned or submitted for it to count. And these two have not let up on each other yet. Caesar Sleeves and and Licks have been taking a beating from Boombox and Zap, but they're not letting up on their hip-hop counterparts. Oh, and Boombox has been, and Zap's been eliminated. Skid Row gets the win. It's a four-star classic right off the bat. 
And you want to talk about ancient grudge breaks and new mutiny, here you go. Oh, it's slime time as the Goblin Knight beats the Dungeon Crawler. Oh, it's a battle of class and crass. But the Chameleon Plex gets it done. Can the Stud Muffin do it? With his intro. Oh, and the Donut is locked in. What a debut. But now, you want to talk some more grudge action. Who is going to squeal? Who's going to tap? Whoever submitted to the Canadian Cloverleaf, obviously. The champ has got his hands full with this new opponent. Ruffianese. Formerly the Ruffian. And we have a new champion! We have a new TV champion, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, Dizzy Licks catches his opponent off guard. There it is. Get row. One, two, three. Goblin Knight takes over. Oh, no. Not that. Ugh, it's slime time. One, two, three. The kid is moving and a grooving. He's got it set up. Yes, Chameleon Plex. One, two, three. Stud Muffin is calling for the Doe Knight. And he's hooked it in. His opponent has no chance now. Ring the bell. Mercenary got Quan Tijuana locked in. That's it. He's tapping his opponent out. It's over. Oh, my. We have a new champion, but he's injured. Oh, goodness me. I think the question now is, is he a fighting champion? We'll find that out soon enough. Can the mighty Ruffiales come back from this? That actually hurt us. That... Stink. Okay. Let's add a segment. Of course, now that we have this nice, safe TV studio... Oh! Fans are unhappy! Okay, we will change it then. Let's go to the Boston Arena. How about that? There, that made him happy. Okay. How do we want to start the show off? Start off with a battle royal? No. That's a little too... Little too iffy. So what matches do we have? We got the ladies' title match. You know what? We don't just have the ladies' title match. What else do we have? Got Let's do a cruiserweight match. Start the show off. Keep it hot. There we go. Oh, they just bumped it right after. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Didn't mean for that to happen. Was actually excited about having you wrap the show up for us. Let's see a dramatic promo. We're gonna have the champion. You know the one I'm talking about, of course. Oh, maybe not. Maybe Ruffules is a bit more hurt than we thought.
Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Not him. There we go. But is he really is he really injured for that long? Maybe he's the type to just walk it off. Just like that. Because he is, in fact, Ruffiales. Let's see here. There we go. But now got a trios match. Do we have any trios? I mean, we've got the van... Oh! Yeah, we have high score. We have the mad slave drivers. We've got stars and stripes. And the Van Winkle 3. Tell you what, this calls for a little bit of the jingoism. All right. Are we doing anything exciting with this? You know what? That right there, flag match. If it wasn't exciting enough, we're just keeping the card open with drama, and I like it. Some mercenaries back in the fold. You taking on one to one again? Oh! No! Red Pirate Roberts. Rogers. Actually, no, I got I got something better in mind. I definitely have something better in mind. Spaz will take on Juan Tijuana. Who's a little miffed about last time? Because they're not quite done. However, maybe Spaz wants to prove he can do it all on his own. So he's going to ask, yeah, yeah, I like that, let's get one, the honorable combatant, there we go. Gotta get that sponsor in there, ASAP. 
Now this next mic spot, I think we'll have it be for the tag champs, or maybe the tag challengers. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. It's going to be with Rex Spectrum of all people. So it'll be Britt Buckingham and his tag partner, Hammerhead. What's going on? Where is Hammerhead? Oh! <laughs> I think I know where Hammerhead is. So instead, it will be Chet Sky and Jesse Wilde, who desperately want to get that gold back. Because that's what they're known as, one of the greatest tag teams we have. They are the Neon Express, after all. All right, ladies. We've got Princess Starbright taking on who, though? Who will be... Actually, who is... Who is her best potential contender? Almighty Dollar, Minx, and Auntie Voodoo. We could do that. We could easily do that. Or we could have Mother Russia go for it. That's right. And not just that, but because it is the 80s, it's going to be a hair versus, versus title match. Prince of Starbright will be powered by the roar of the crowd. Mother Russia <laughs> might rely on a foreign object. Don't you just love the 80s? And now, Tennis Pro's got himself a ladder match. And his potential opponents, potentially, I mean, they're his opponents. Man, kid already. Oh, he had a match last week. So yes, man, kid's gonna be in the mix with Marley at ringside because that's smart. Tennis Pro will actually be powered up by the crowd antagonizing. 
We're not, apparently. Hey, listen to me, boy. I'm the big boss around here. You might just have to rely on dirty tactics. <laughs> yeah. Or, since he did take a few people off, well, I guess Yuppie can't be in there. But, someone who can... Demanding his rematch, the Piranha. Caught the eye of Gothica. That should make things really interesting. One blatant cheater, an animal at ringside, as well as a nasty little gothic firecracker. We're about to have a hell of a show, folks. Ruffiulies just psyched the crowd up, and that's what we want. Here we go. This is how you start the show off, folks, with a flag match, because that's how things work. Nothing like an over-the-top gimmick match to get the show started, right? We want to keep the crowd on their feet. But who's going to get the flag? Oh! The American Gladiator! Stars and Stripes for the win! Oh, and Spaz starts the fight off fast and loose. But Juan Tijuana lands that flying forearm. Hmm, maybe Spaz isn't as good as he thought. Riding that Neon Express to the promised land. Up aboard the Neon Express. There we go. Hmm. Oh! Oh! We have a new champion! Oh, this is one of the craziest ladder matches I've seen in a long time, folks. Chameleon Kid has got his hands full. Oh! Whoa! And we have a new champion! Now the question is, will there be double gold in his future? Refugees delivers a promo that simply isn't dramatic, and yet it got three stars. Go figure. Bosaw has his hands on the pole. He's got it. The bell is ringing as the wa as the flag waves around. One Tijuana is. Es en fuego! He tosses him into the ropes. There it is, the flying forearm. One, two, three. Rex Spectrum talks with Chet Sky and Jesse Well, but things fall flat. Oh no, the match is over, and you know what that means. Princess Starbright is getting a haircut. The Piranha's going to make one last attempt to climb the ladder. He's reaching for it, and he's got it. This one is over. So by risking it and waving his rematch clause for the TV title, he ends up getting the Cruiserweight title. This is amazing. Maybe a champion versus champion match isn't that far away, folks. Boston Arena this week, we are at the Cattle Castle. Let's make it... Hold on. 
before I jump the gun. All right, yeah, the Cruiserweight title's back up for grabs. But still... Let's do... Let's put the tag team titles up for grabs. As you know, shake things up a little bit. First things first, Mike Spud. in their corner. There we go. impressed with you last week, so you're going to have to take on Dizzy and Caesar. I like that. I like that a lot. The Neon Express versus the Metalheads. Winner gets a shot at the winner of the tag match. count anywhere, boys. Now, does Ruffiles qualify for the following? No, he doesn't. Ooh. 
But who does? Who should take on the piranha? I mean, Chameleon Kid does have his rematch. So I think that's what we're gonna do. He's been busting it for a little while. Give the kid a shot. And with Marley in his corner, ain't nothing wrong gonna happen. Or maybe he's just gonna rely on the roar of the crowd. Well, Piranha's gonna have Troglo in his corner. And to make sure there's no escape. Mm, nah. There's already enough here. Oh, almost forgot a couple of things. <laughs> Nothing is more powerful than the almighty dollar. <laughs> All right. I'm just a nice, safe little mid mid card man. And by safe, I mean brute force is about to murder someone. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. It's a Van Winkle legacy. Yeah, Van Winkle's rubbing the crowd up. I fight for my family. Here we go. And here we are, folks. Let's get things going right. They're rocking and rolling all night long, but whoa, torpedo drop pick out of nowhere gets it done. Oh, God, I feel bad for this guy. He just stepped into the wrong ring, and there it is. Brute force gets it done. I know you are, but what am I? Now that was a cute segment. Or so we thought. Oh, here we go. Can the Chameleon Kid snatch up this victory? He's been on a mild roll as of late. Oh, Chameleon Plex! We have a new champion! Wow! That was unexpected! Can we end the night with two title changes? Can the A-list get it done against the anti-Americans? Back and forth they go. Oh, Hammerhead and Brit Buckingham are not going to just give up. Oh, and the Britain Bulldog ends the match. Wow. And in front of a sold-out crowd... Van Winkles claim to be the greatest and definitely get the crowd noticing them again. Jesse Wilde is rolling now. He's climbed to the top rope. Yes, torpedo drop kick. It's over. One, two, three. Brood is just too powerful. He's setting his opponent up. Here it is. Brute force. One, 
two and three. Almighty Dollar, Ace Arcadium, and Kit Pistol guest stars, T's next door neighbors. Everybody hates it. Yeah, they're a little unprofessional there. The kid is moving in a groove and he's got it set up. Yes, the Chameleon Plex and a new Cruiserweight Champion. Britt Buckingham just dove off the upper deck onto Dude Broham below. Count to three. This one is over. And in the process, he did injure himself. Goodness. Well, folks, that, that is truly, truly, truly outrageous. All right, guys, come on. We got the last match. We got the last show. Here we go. Total Bedlam. No, maybe not that. Pre-match ambush. Backstage brawl. There we go. I know, yeah, I know exactly what to do. Chet scanning Jesse Wild. Here we go, folks. Last show. And to start it off, we got a tables match. The current champion, Ruffiulis, taking on Drool. Whoa, the Atomic Wedgie puts him through a table. We have new champion. Ho, ho. Oh, goodness. Trying to make a name for themselves. Oh, here we go. Submissions match. The Anti-Americans against the A-List. Here we go. Who's going to come out on top? This is anyone's game at this point. Odds are that you got Britt Buckingham, the technical magician, on one end. Oh, but the big bro leg drop. Right across the neck into a sleeper. That's it! We've got new tag champions! And speaking of tag team chaos, look at this! The Neon Express actually going after the Metalheads! Oh, and now the number one contender for the... And out of nowhere, the American Gladiator! Buzzsaw is taking on the winner of the cage match! Average guy taking on Geppetto! This is one of the most intense cage matches I've seen in a very long time. But with an average elbow, he starts scaling the, the cage. And that's it! That's it for the Shamrock Skirmish, everybody. I hope you enjoyed a month's worth of action crammed into one amazing evening. We're ending off at the Wrestletorium at a sold-out crowd. With a new TV champion, Ruffield... Ruffles is splayed out on the table. Here comes Drool Crash. Ring the bell. It is over.
One to one and Ricardo Marceau was ner was a nervous Nelly on the set of the Reptile House, and the fans won't forget it. I mean, with a huge alligator there, I mean, who wouldn't be? Doctor B has got he's got Hammerhead locked in. That's it. He's tapping his opponent out. It's over with new tag team champions. New TV champion, new tag team champions. Woo! And it looks like the metalheads are on the shelf for a hot minute. But man, the Neon Express definitely showing that they do deserve those tag belts. Buzzsaw lifts his opponent overhead and drops him flat on his face. He's flying off the ropes. Combat splash! One, two, three. Average guy is in total control. He's clammed the cage. Will he escape? Yes, he's done it! It is over! So that is happening at the next show for the belt. We have the average guy defending against Buzzsaw. We will keep you informed of what's going on with that as always. This has been another crazy evening of combat. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Ring that bell to stay notified. And if there are any other shows you need to check out, I recommend going to Parts Fun Known and checking out the Colossal Tussle that just wrapped up.